Oh, okay. Well, you know, once once the board does approve, then a letter will be produced. You know, so it, I guess it, it's contingent upon the board approval, and if the board does support this, then it will generate a letter uh, from the county manager's office. And Mr. Chairman, I can draft that letter. So okay, uh, Mr. Whiting said he can draft the letter, Mr. Weller. Okay, because I, I believe you know that the uh, the group that's opposing this needs to get that letter out to um, Phoenix as soon as possible. Yes. Am I correct there? Yes. We could also do a, just a special board meeting for just that one item. Okay, uh, good enough. What we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and approve the uh, approve or disapprove the request that is um, you know to uh, deny the uh, liquor license. I'm going to go ahead and call the, uh, from the public, I believe Ms. Uh, James is here to address that. Give your name, please, for the record. Richard James. Okay. Good morning. Good morning to each and every one of you. Good morning, Mr. Weller. And good morning to each and every one of you here this morning. <clears throat> I'm here, my name is Richard James, and I am the um, actually, probably the, the chairperson of this Renewal of Hope Task Force within <coughs> five, six chapters. That's Mount Utsin, Pal, Lutton, Oak Springs, White Ruins, and Kaigato. Um, we started this, this task force since December 2012. The first time when we heard that there was that meth lab that took place in Chambers, and the community people has been very concerned ever since then. A auto from there, um, the, the, the people wanted me to do something about it, just to do a presentation was from the beginning. And then we got people together, and different, um, like the Sheriff Department, the Highway Patrol, the Nomination Police Officer, to see what the report is. And ever since then, we've been meeting monthly, and <clears throat> it got to the point where the people were concerned that why is it that Mr. McDonald has a license and then he's doing this meth lab? People were very, very concerned. So what they said is they wanted to close that meth one stand and then as well as the other two because um, the people from Newlands were, they were saying, you know, that a lot of our people, our children, they're just going there to Red Barn and each one there's been homicide, suicide, Sexual abuse, rape, there's been domestic violence, to name everything has been happening there. The high school is just right there, the elementary is right across. There's um, people that hang out at Mustang, you know, asking for money, but you know, so they're drinking and all that. And we, as a task force, then finally I got my task force, there's five of us. And then I have these monthly community meetings every month where there's about 60 to 70 people that come there to Mount Uxine, voicing their concerns, and they are crying, they have tears, you know, they're saying, we want that red barns closed. Why isn't anybody doing, we gotta do, how come Apache County's not doing down north? So that's the reason why I said, this is not gonna be an overnight thing. It's gonna take, it's gonna take months, and I don't know how many months it's gonna take for us to do that. And I said, and I need a lot of support. That's when I, I got my task force going, and we've been meeting monthly. We've been working with the um, liquor department. We've been working with Ellen Paris, with the investigator, and then we went to the Navajo Nation Council to the um, Law and Order. Just last week, we went before Nabikiyati. That's where we were at last Thursday, and since we hear that, you know, there's petition going on at Red Barns, and for three days, I think it was, it was closed. 
after January the 21st, when there was another meth lab that was found and all the sheriff department came in, they, they took a lot of stuff from there. And it was closed for about two or three days. Man, that place looked beautiful. It was peaceful. It was just those two days. The third day, the fourth, here it is again. It's open again by Ryan, uh, George Ryan. He opened it up again and starts it, start all over again. And we're tired of it. And you know, there's people at the Hanzhou Bay, you feel sorry for these people. And you wonder, do they have a home? What can they do? Wish there was a rehab center right here at Red Bar. Maybe they need to do away with this place and put something good right there instead of a liquor thing there in this. The people are very, very tired of this. And we've been going here and there, and people say, no, you can't do it. This is how you're supposed to do it. No, and then it seems like, you know, it's just very frustrating. So when we went before the Nabik last week, they told us that we have to get a support letter from the Apache County supervisors. That's what we were told. So, and I guess Aina Nagel is the one that, um, she's really helping me. She, she, she does a lot of her, um, computer thing, and that's when she, I think she got a, a hold of you, Mr. White, and that's why we're here today, and we're begging, we're really begging somehow, we gotta get this thing going. Yesterday, we met with the human rights again, and that person from there is here, and now we're told, you're only gonna concentrate one mile radius from Red Barns, and we gotta get people within this one mile radius to come and do letters and to testify, oh, so, oh my gosh. And here we have letters that's been going down to the Arizona Liquor Board. We have petitions that we've been doing. We've been doing all this thing and it's just, you know, that's where we're at right now as of today. And I know that there's, there's um, then we just, you know, hearsay is that um, Mustang is gonna open if Red Barnes doesn't get their license back. back. Dollar store is going to bring liquor and then we think, why, when is it ever going to stop? We put this fire out and then this one comes up again, you know? So those things are happening to us and we're really suffering within this, these communities. But the reason, the reason why, because, you know, at one time you probably heard about it. This young guy was butchered. He was murdered right on the east, um, south side of Red Barns. And to this day, you know, the family, they're suffering from it, but they are, I think they are afraid to come forth and say, this is what actually happened. But they're supposed to write a letter for us. And then there's another one that died right behind Red Barns. Well, another one right over here by a family's dollar store. He froze. What more can we, what more is it that we have to do, you know? It's just very frustrating. And... That's why we we're, we're, we come. We, I, I'm here before you, my brother, Mr. Shirley, Joe Shirley, Shigaj, Nadal, Tom White, and then the two, 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 all uh, the rest of you from the Apache County. You know, we're we're. I'm asking you to help us. That and then Mr. Weller, yes, he did write a letter for us in support to the to the to the, to the liquor board, which I I appreciate that. So this is something that, this is what we need. And then we're told that um, sometimes this liquor license is going to expire the end of May. So we have to get it going. We have to run with all these things and get all these things in. The, I think it was 60 days, was it? More than 60 days or something. We have to get all these documents. And then there's a lot of things that's going on. The Padgett County's on their side. All of that is never going to get any better. And da, da, da. You know, we hear these things. And, <clears throat> then you come to think, <laughs> you know, you have second thoughts about those kind of stuff. But I'm begging you guys to please help us because we are really, really in need. So that's how much I just want to say. I could go on and on, but that's how much I want to say. Shigash and Shigash. Okay. Yeah. Thank and you. Thank you, Mr. Weller. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Weller.